हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज मनोज मोहन थैंक यू फॉर ट्यूनिंग इनटू माय चैनल वीबीए ऑटोमेशन फॉर एंड यूजर्स एंड यूजर्स बिकॉज आई बिलीव दे आर द वन हु हैव प्रैक्टिकल नॉलेज एंड एवरी टाइनी मिनी इनसाइट्स ऑन द प्रोसेस सो टुडे वी हैव वीडियो व्हिच विल हेल्प यू लर्न हाउ टू ऑटोमेट बेसिक फार्मूलास लाइक वी लुकअप एंड एच लुकअप सो हियर वी गो सो हियर आर द डेफिनेशंस फॉर एच लुकअप एंड वी लुकअप let's practically see how it works so h lookup takes four parameters one is lookup value second is table array or the range you can specify that third is the row number from where we want the result based on the lookup value of course fourth is false which is exact match we want our exact match of the lookup value and then we press enter so we get the output as 0.001 0001 similarly we see for we look up let me just enlarge it for you guys so again it's the same form it's the same format we use equal to we look up again it has four parameters with the only difference is h stands for horizontal and v for vertical so we specify first parameter lookup value second range third here this time it is the column number from where we want the result based on the lookup value and again false exact match of the lookup value so we have the result 0.004 so this is how basically the formula works on excel sheet Yes, this is what we were looking for. We want to get this automated on Excel sheet. It is pretty easy to use this formula, and it is further more easy to use it. So this is very important part, I which I wanted to show is uh, you should have this developer button enabled to do an VBA automation. So once we have the developer button enabled, so let me quickly check these. Yes. So now I go to design mode to get these buttons. You, I have already created a sample sheet for you. So I do not want to invest uh, or time in this and or you. so uh, the design template is already ready uh, there's only a button that i have taken and rest is only cells which uh, i am providing user to enter values i am just updating the caption so you can update the caption of the button to the one which i already did i am just showing it for you so just double click on it and we go to a page where we can code ensure it is on design mode yes it is on design mode and we go ahead So as we can see, the four parameter which is taken as the same thing, we are going to get it automated. So it's basically the formula itself would be working, but through backend, nobody would be able to view how it actually works. So here it is, dim RNG as range. I have declared a variable as range. because as you might have seen the formula takes second parameter as range so i will define it early itself the range is the table size so it starts from b7 and ends at g10 
it's already defined i can directly use it now so the first value is entered by user in this cell result is in this cell so let's proceed ahead So let me just increase the font so that everyone can view this coding page. Mm, let me see how we do it. Yeah, got it. So I hope it's pretty clear now. K11 is the cell area where we want the result to be shown. So here it is application dot worksheet function. It's dot h lookup since it is the same inbuilt formula which are going to use, but through backend, and that is what VB automation is all about. So same here four parameter. First parameter is lookup value, which is entered in cell K8. Second is range. Since we have already defined what range is the entire table. Third is the column uh, row number, which is also specified by user. Yes, uh, one more important thing that we have to specify. Uh, if you want to fetch value from a cell, this is how we have to specify it. It's sheet one dot range, because we have our values being entered sheet one range location and then dot value fourth parameter again remains the same false so it is zero one is true and tada it is ready for us to work so let's see if it works let's go back and see what we manually got and what was the value where we used it's d and 4 so let us enter those and we should get the same result here we go d and 4 then ensure it is now out of design mode and then click and get the result similarly for vlookup Uh, the font is big. I'll just quickly make it small. It's pretty easy, very user friendly language. Everyone can learn this. So, these were the four parameters. So, again, we go back. The template is already ready. Just drag a button, name it and see the cell values where users are allowed to enter double click on the button to go to the code page for that specific button of course it should be in design mode double click here we go we can copy the entire 
coding which we have already did because it is, a, it is the same thing the only change would be VLOOKUP and the cell locations so just change it to V this time it would be cell location where the users are allowed to enter we have as we have already checked it's K19 N19 and this is 22 result is to be shown on K22 we change it and we come here yes very important table range also changes this time it is this B18 to G21 and yes done so again I will use the same formula and let's see if it works Y2 and 6 and it should Y2 is already there I'll just enter 6 and 